CBB's Bedtime Story. And now I just need my pink crayon. Hmm, where's my pink crayon? Oh, hello. I'm Angelica. Have you seen my pink crayon? I think I've lost it. You haven't? Oh. Well, I'll look for it in a minute because right now it's time for me to read you a bedtime story. Are you ready? The story is called Milo and the Moon Kangaroo and it's by Dan Taylor. It was way past bedtime and an imaginative Milo Montgomery was busy doodling instead of sleeping. He was just about to colour in a dinosaur attacking a skyscraper when... Oh no! He noticed that his favourite green crayon was missing. Milo thought hard about where it could be. Then he remembered. That afternoon he'd been using his crayons in the garden. Milo rushed to his bedroom window and peered into the garden below. There, glistening in the moonlight, was a green crayon trail. Milo raced downstairs. He followed the trail along the garden path, through the garden gate, down Mortimer Street, through the park and straight into a jungle. <laughs> Have you seen my favourite green crayon? asked Milo as he swung through the vines with a bunch of mischievous monkeys. But nobody had. So Milo swung higher and higher, right onto a pirate ship. Carefully, Milo climbed down the rope ladder and came face to face with Captain Whiskers and his crew of pirate kittens. Have you seen my favourite green crayon? asked Milo as they bobbed over the waves searching for treasure. But nobody had. So Milo climbed into a rowing boat and headed for shore. He tied up his boat. Then he followed the trail further and further and further until he was right in the middle of a desert. Milo looked around, but there wasn't a trace of crayon in sight. He was all alone, well and truly lost. With tears in his eyes, Milo looked up into the night sky and there, to his amazement, was the trail. Each sparkly star was connected like a giant joined the dots puzzle. But I'll never get up there, sighed Milo sadly. Don't be so sure about that, said a voice. Milo turned around and out of nowhere, a rocket had appeared. Come on, jump in, called the pilot. Milo couldn't believe his eyes. He hurried inside and fastened his seatbelt. Three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Suddenly, Milo was zooming through clouds and space dust past stars and planets all the way to the moon. Milo bounced over moon rocks and around craters until he reached a moon cave. And that was when he spotted the crayon trail culprit. What are you doing with my favourite green crayon? And who are you anyway? I'm a moon kangaroo, replied the creature. And it's not your crayon. It's mine. I found it. Come on, I'll show you. The moon kangaroo took Milo to a huge crater filled with toys. Every toy that gets lost on Earth ends up here, she explained. Milo had never seen so many toys before. Can we play with them? he asked. Milo and the moon kangaroo played for hours. They doodled and coloured using Milo's crayons. And they became the best of friends. But before long, it was time for Milo to go home. Can I have my green crayon back now? He asked. The moon kangaroo looked sad and Milo felt mean because he knew how much she liked to doodle. Then he had an idea. You can have my pink crayon instead. The moon kangaroo bounced with happiness. Pink was her favourite colour. Sadly, Milo said goodbye to his new friend. Then he followed the trail all the way home. Later that night, Milo awoke in his cosy bed. It must have all been a dream, he smiled. 
But when he looked inside his crayon box, there was his green crayon and an empty space where the pink crayon should have been. Could it really have been one big nighttime adventure? Thank you, Milo. That story was called Milo and the Moon Kangaroo. Maybe that's where my missing crayon has gone. The Moon Kangaroo must have it. Well, as long as she's using it, I suppose that's all right. Now, I hope you put all of your toys safely away because it's your bedtime now. So off you go to get tucked up. I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Sleep tight.